Welcome everybody to Charlotte Motor Speedway, race number 10 of the truck series. Bouchard is on pole for tonight's race. There is your full qualifying results, and here is the race command. Drivers, start your engines. Alright, engines fired up. We are ready to go here at Charlotte. Field is rolling off. So the points stay the same for the top six. However, the points he has shrunk in a little bit. 23 points, Eber Hyman. Biz back behind David Davison. Andrew Garner, Kenny Johnson, Claude Rodriguez, Nikolai Sykes. Yep, top seven. Uh, Cole Sampson with his first one of the season jumps up to seventh in points, gaining eight positions. Uh, Colin Bear remains in eighth. Nathan Norman has jumped up two. He's up to ninth. And Mark Knight drops one. He is tenth. Biggest mover was our race winner and Bahama Zane. Both of them gaining eight positions. The 16 Bahama Zane has gained up. Is up to 23rd. Uh, Eric Monaco lost the most, losing 10. Dropped him to 22nd in points. So a lot to gain there for the 31 after failing to start the race at North Wilkesboro. All right, so that's enough of the points rundown. We're getting ready to go green here at Charlotte. Under the lights. Once again. Here we go. Face truck is off. Getting ready to go green. Green flag is out and we're underway. Few takers tend to turn one, three wide. 36 trucks. One driver failed to start. It's Rodriguez in the 13. Mechanical. This is a two truck as well. Three wide back there for a second. Now it's going to be for the lead. Now four wide for the race lead. Still there. Four wide at the line. It's going to be the 11 leading lap number one. And oh, there they go. And that's not going to last. And on top of the wall and upside down and more trucks pile in. That was not a very good move just to lead, lap, lead the first lap. And more trucks. The 30's in the wall in turn 2. The 21 of KCH is on point. And coming to the stripe here, the 21 will take the yellow flag. Alright, first caution of the night. Let's take a look at the replay. So you st they started going 4 wide. So we want this a little bit more. Into turns 3 and 4. See, if Monaco's on the low side, he kind of drives up a little bit. Into a little bit too deep. Slips up the racetrack. That opens the door for the 11. But no one decides to back out. But it's going to be hard to back out of that. So they kind of got into a 4 wide situation. He's on the 11. Now this will be a great photo finish. 4 wide at the line. So everything looked to be good. They made it through the uh, quad oval, but then entering turn one, the room ran out, what little they have left, and then they all started piling in. And in the 11, he, Flora Johnson gets squeezed into the wall, pops the truck up, I guess, and upside down, that 11 truck goes. Back on all fours, nope, does another roll. Nope, does not get back on all fours. Let's take a look. Not too many trucks. I thought uh, at least half the field. More like maybe 10 or 15 trucks involved in that. Most of them was on the low side, got through it, but some of them, like the 7, the 29, the double zero, the 98. So there's a 3 R points leader, Cole Sampson as well. North Hooks Pro winner. So let's go on board with David Davison here. This is not what he needs right now. He had a not a great finish at the North Wilkes Pro. It was right behind, running in fifth as the leaders go four wide, but he couldn't escape it. I think he just got okay, yeah, he just got hooked on the right side. He had gone to the 11. That caused the truck to get on top of the wall and flip over. 
And here comes more. The 33, which I think is a KHI truck. I think the 2 truck is as well. Yeah, I think so. And then, right, Mark Knight in the 30 also spun out. But uh, no further incident, it looks like. Was on the apron of the racetrack trying to get back up, but got on the cow within the 24. Kind of spun himself out. There's a 56, just made it through. 51 as well. Not super, super close. Uh, Park Knight. Not a big hit. He should be fine. We'll take you back to the restart. Alright, getting ready to go green here. So Rodriguez has not uh, started the race. So that's two straight races. We've had a driver failing to start the race. So Rodriguez will of course finish 37th. So four drivers out, not including the 13. 32 drivers remaining on the racetrack. Nathan Roman is a lap down in the five. Alright, let's try this again. Let's try not to go four wide for the race lead at the start. Base truck is off. Getting ready to go green. Two four is going to lead us to the line here. Green flag is out. We're back underway. Well, that'll be a lap left for the 49. Three wide there for fifth. The six of Brad Cheston. Where is our five time champ in the standings? 25th right now. So he's got some work to do. The you know, 3 Ryan Butcher as well. There he is to the inside for the race lead with the 21. We'll take that one easily. Four wide in the mid pack area. Coming off turn two here. Cowboy then able to clear them. Got a great drive off the turn. Got away from that mess. Now they're going far wide here. The 80 slips up a little bit. Like no grip on the low side or something. Someone's got to give here. The 14 might be able to clear. And the 56 backs out. Another close call there. Cheston is our leader. The 01 is second. Side by side for third. Here's Ibrahimen. Looking for another great finish. Chesson up to a three tenth of a second lead here. Probably hang on it for a couple more laps as the 77 of Kenny Johnson is up against the wall there. Nobody else, luckily, got into him. Four wide again, almost. Abraham and closing the gap on that six car truck. Doesn't matter. Nope, 24 car with now scraping the wall, but he gets off of it quickly. Now the top two have pulled away from the field. And now the eight of Ryan Pitchard is also clear. Bill Jones in the 14 had that wild ride at North Wilkesboro. But right now he's running in fourth. Yeah, that was a crazy flip he had. You usually don't see them barrel roll like that at a short track. And get stuck in the catch fence. Oh, the double zero, that's gonna hit the wall hard. That'll take him out for sure too. That should bring out the yellow and it will. Looking low. Here comes Ivra Hyman. He wants to take the caution flag. But he's not going to quite get there. Still on the inside. But not even there. Alright. So Cheston will take the yellow flag. We'll take a look at the replay. Alright. Let's take a look here. Alexander Rowe in the double zero. Gets turned off turn two. By Cole Colby in the twelve. Payback the wrong driver. He has issues with the 07. 
I mean, they got together already, but then with Alexander rolled the lone truck to get taken out. He keeps on rolling, but that thing is going to roll right into the garage area. I think it was just a little bit of aggressive racing there. Cole Colby, however, still gets to the back, into the inside wall. Hard hit, spinning right out. Does a 360, but yeah, he is done for the night. So a big hit for the double zero, and that was all under this yellow. We'll take you back to the restart. All right, so no surprise, row is out. 31 drivers left, we're getting ready to go green. Here we go. So we're just past the halfway point. Base truck is coming off. Here we go. Green flag is out and whoa. Abraham with a great launch. He really took off there. Shouldn't be a penalty. It's okay on the outside. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with the 6. I think he just got a really bad restart. Or Eva Hyman just got a really good one. So Eva Hyman trying to be the first driver this season to get a second win. Nine races in and no multi-time multi winner yet. Came close. A couple of times, I think. Well... I think the only time was at uh, Texas World Speedway. That's how Abraham got his first win. Nikolai Sykes was in position, then a lap truck. They caught on the last lap, denied him that second win. Pretty much handed the win to the 36. A second will be huge. That won't even give him the points lead. No, it will give him the points lead. For sure, no doubt. Things are getting really squirrely back there. But they keep it nice and clean for now. Still there, three wide. These guys have uh, separated. Strung out a little bit, but these guys are still racing hard. Bill Jones, a little too high, but managed to make it work. I think he gained some spots for doing that. Pretty sure he did. That was a huge drive off the turn. One and six, Bear versus Cheston for second place. Pitcher in the 80s, fourth. Ryan Butcher currently fifth. Ten to go here, left at Charlotte. Got one of each. Manufacturer. In the top four here. Chevy Ford, Toyota, and Dodge. That's how they run. Whoa, the one. Pitcher kind of tried to drift up or slide up. Tuck in behind. Wasn't quite clear. Tiny bit closer. Now one will be in the wall, just like the double zero. Three wide here. Three wide for a second. Abraham is loving this. But nine laps to go. Still quite a bit of time left. Cowell in the 24, 3 wide for 3rd now. Now a lot of these guys need to get a good finish tonight. We have uh, Parker Smith up here in the top 10. We've got Cowell and Butcher all up here in the top 5 and top 10. Those guys are at the bottom of the barrel right now in the points. They need a good finish. Oh, Steven Nooks is here too. Yeah, a lot of these guys are up here. It's going to be a great night. Or, well, a great night if they win. A good night if they get into the top 5, top 10. Some of them don't even have a top 10 this season, like the 24. Running in, well, previously 5th. Running around 8th or 9th at the moment. For the race lead, here they go. Bear has taken it.
Pretty wide again. Nope. Try not to shove anyone up the racetrack there. A little bit of contact, it looks like, from the 14 and the 03. Dope. 12 of Cole Colby. They're four wide behind. Colby nearly spins, and these guys getting a little too close. There goes Connor Breeden sideways. He saves it, but up the track he goes. And he's going to wipe out a couple guys. Oh, watch out, watch out. 31 is there. All good. All right, coming to the caution flag with five to go here. And oh, Brad Chester nearly spins. All right. Let's take a look at the replay. Ryan Pitchard is our leader. So close to saving it. Connor Breen in the 18. Was right in the middle. He's in the worst spot. So entering turn one. He nearly gets turned by the old one. He saves it, but up the track he goes. The old one puts the 77 and the 9 on the wall, and the 18 puts the 19 on the wall. Whoa, the 07 came close. Almost. Almost did it. Let's go on board here with the 18. Yeah, he's just in no man's land. So he slightly gets turned a little bit. He gets it straight, straightened out, but then he drives up, gets up on the racetrack. I mean, uh, he did the best he could to control that race truck, but just, just couldn't get it slowed down in time. And around he goes, takes out a couple guys. Take a look at that. On board the 07 first, the Bouchard. Pulsator for tonight, but he has been running mid pack ever since. So came close to Kenny Johnson, but even closer with Connor Breeden. Now, one more time, go on board with the 01. Yep, they're about to get by. So close to clearing him. Just gets up, just catches that quarter panel. The 19 wasn't there, it would have been... Yeah, it wouldn't have crashed. But there's the uh, third caution of the night. We'll take you back to the restart. I think it's going to be a one-lap shootout here, but we'll see. Yes, it will be. It's going to be a classic one-lap shootout to the finish. So far, Ryan uh, Pitchard is the race leader. Colin Bear is second. Brad Tresson is third. Muhammad Zayn is fourth. Ibrahim is fifth. Bill Jones 6th, Ryan Butcher 7th, Michael Brown 8th, KCH 9th, and Cowlin is currently 10th. Alright, so green and white flag at the same time. So, so far, no overtime finishes yet. The only way, well, no, it'll be too late. It's gonna say if a caution comes out right. Before they cross the line, then we can have a green white checker, but I don't think I could click that box in time. So the race would end under yellow. But uh, that's uh, extremely unlikely. That's probably only happened like, what, two times out of the four to five, well, no, five like 4,000 races we've done? Yeah, probably, I think. Green flag is out, and Colin Bear with a mega start. Oh, again. We can get him back. Ibrahim is looking for third. Brian Pitcher is in a good spot. He's going to get that push from the six. And to the inside he goes. The one with the block. Trying to block. Might be a close one. Here they come. Checkered flag is out. Oh no, not maybe not. And Colin Bear is going to win it here at Charlotte. With a crazy good restart. That was not a jump. It's okay to do it on the outside line. It was fair. It is fair. So Colin Bear, the winner. I believe he only... Well, I think he actually led a couple laps at some point. But a crazy good restart. And Ryan Pitcher, he had all the momentum, but he just couldn't quite get there. I think the one was just a little too fast. Maybe. Alright, let's take a look at the full race results. So there you have it, Colin Bear the winner of tonight's race, Ryan Pitcher getting second. So close, but uh, he kind of flopped on that restart there. Or either that or Bear just got a really good one. Just like early in the race with the 36, 
Uh, Brad Chesson, third. Ibrahim in fourth. Butcher, fifth. Zane, sixth. Jones, seven. King, eighth. Brown is ninth. And KCH, tenth. Here's the rest of the race results. 31 trucks finished tonight's race. 30 of them finishing on the lead lap. Yeah, it's a pretty uh, exciting race. Entertaining race, I would say. A lot of action. A lot of 3-4 wide action. But uh, only not too many wrecks. Only five drivers are out. All due to a crash. Of course, not counting Carlos Rodriguez. And uh, Nathan Norman. Yeah, he was a lap. The only driver who finished a lap down. Only three cautions in tonight's race. We only had that big one at the start. And then the second caution was just a single truck wreck. And then the third one was a handful of drivers, or not a handful, a few drivers crashing in turns one and two. But it wasn't a big one. And uh, yeah, overall, pretty clean Charlotte race. Not often that we get to say that. Charlotte uh, tends to be a bit chaotic, but uh, not tonight. At least chaotic with the crashes. But yep, not tonight. Action, maybe, but all right. So that is it here tonight at uh, Charlotte Motor Speedway. Colin Bear, the race winner tonight. Let's take you to victory lane. I said like tonight like a thousand times in two seconds, but all right, so let's take you to victory lane.